They say there's not much in Kentucky. Well, there is one thing for sure. Death. Gil Marcus, a lowly fry cook, took his parents' RV on a trip and on his way back, the outbreak struck. Now stashing his gear, he learned some of the finer details of cooking. Also realizing he may get a little banged up, he power reads first aid, volume one. Uh, excuse me, can we get a new camera guy? This isn't working. Checking the RV, he finds the engine in working order and names his burly nice. beauty, Sharon. Sharon! Realizing he doesn't have a watch and is going to miss his soaps, if they're even still on, Gil decides to ask the locals for one. They're not willing to share, and so Gil unalives them. Again. Hopefully for the last time. <laughs> Gil avoids a bite. A successful smack. Another successful smack. Gil is coming out on top. Ooh, he avoids another bite. Gil is lucky. The police Zambi is dead. He doesn't have time to check the body for a watch. He must, he must take care of this threat. Smack. 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 Wow. And she's gone. Sensing one more undead nearby with his passive cleric skills. Gil taunts the zombie, beckoning him closer. The zombie not knowing. These are his last moments. Oh, Grizzly Adam Zombie is dead. Carefully, patiently, Gil dispatches the three Zambos and picks a watch, a revolver, and a bulletproof vest from the bodies. Gil, get just just the watch, the revol the revolver, and the bullet prevent. Gil, guys, he's stealing again. Guys, he's stealing on set. Deciding he needed to find more supplies, Gil takes off down the road. Almost avoiding the turn, he sees a small horde of Zeds and decides to go ahead and take the road to his left. Finding a place to pull over, Gil checks his surroundings. Seems okay, bud. Gil finds a house and sneaks up to the door. Having eaten his Wheaties, he uses his wrinkly brain to smack the door. Ah, our ploy worked. Our boy Gil found a zombie, and so he sneaks in the window and dispatches the zombie. Ah, how they have fallen. Antibiotics! Hell yeah. Eh, yeah, pen. Sleeping tablets! A cabbage! I'm gonna eat that right here, hell yeah. Gil, you can't eat the props. Debating whether or not this stuff is useful, Gil 
decides it is not. But the stuff on the bookshelf. Farming, first aid, mechanics, tailoring, trapping. Let's, let's just take all that. How about that? Gil returns to the cabinets. Do I really need an oven mitt, he asks. The answer is a resounding yes. You, you okay, bud? You all right? Kind of taking a while? Oh, okay. After grabbing all the food in the house, Gil ventures outside. Following the magical hand that guides him. The hand is trying to tickle Gil. Gil, nervous, attacks the fence. He has yet to find cigarettes. Gil is on edge. Even fences are enemies. Hello, Sharon. I brought us I brought you some food, my love. He enters his RV and uh, begins going through his vast inventory. <laughs> Gil is not concerned with organization. Gil is concerned with eating that ice cream. And not dying from uncooked shrimp or pork. Gil ponders his life. Has it all come to this? Skipping out on college. Ignoring that girl. Running over that kid. Gil tries to forget his thoughts from the previous night, and getting distracted thinking about not thinking about them hits a tree. Onward, Gil. Sharon is fine. She's a tough broad. A long drive down some long roads. There is nothing. Gil can find only road. Ah! Has he found some warehouses? Has he also found a bunch of zombies? The answer to both of these questions is yes. And so Gil drives around taking a stock of how many zombies are actually in the area. And with each one, he grows more anxious. Gil, I get you're trying to uh, jimmy the gas so you don't make that much noise, but bud, you fucked up driving up here. <laughs> oh, some of the zombies are confused and going the wrong direction.
Gil is attempting to save his hood and engine by using his trunk as a battering ram. He thinks, maybe if I drive into the woods, there won't be any zombies. To which, that question is quickly answered with a, of course you idiot, there will be zombies everywhere. Gil finds a place to pull over and park. And in a moment of panic, he abandons Sharon knowing he must pull the danger away from her. Some of the zombies are not seeing Gil. But he knows that others have, and so he is scared. Checking his surroundings. Nope, no zombies. Good. Gil thinks, I can, I can go climb in here, that's no big deal. Oh, but it's broken. He is determined to get in these warehouses by any means. He tries the door, no luck. Gil makes sure there are no zombies around him before he dispatches the one right in front of him. Ah, how another has fallen. Gil sneaks up to another broken window. Hearing zombies behind him, he feels panicked doesn't see oh there he sees one zombie oh okay he he sees more zombies he tries to escape he they are chasing after him oh they're still on the ground there are more he ran into a pack of more almost oh no gil this is not looking good for you bud yes gil decides to run and then remembers oh crap he is almost exhausted so he walks Back to the RV he goes. Zombies surrounding it. He drives Sharon through one and around the others. Ah, peace. Inside the RV. Gil gets washed up and bandaged up. While at the same time learning some first aid. And some carpentry. Gil, how did you do that? <laughs> ah, ripping sheets for bandages, my man. Ah, carpentry increase. Boredom decrease. Now back to washing up. Gil ponders. He thinks of the life that got taken from him as he thoroughly uh, rinses his linens. He wonders, what else is in store for him? <laughs>